Hey, welcome back to our idle game tutorial series. Today we will make a resource handler to manage the amount of stardust we have and also to send signals to pretty much whoever wants to listen to in order to notify what's new <laughs> with the stardust resources. So let's jump right into it by creating just a simple node in our game node. And I'm just gonna rename it handlers in order to organize my handlers by having children node here, all right? So I'm just gonna change the order and that's gonna be good this way. So let's create a new folder in our script folder, which will be handlers. And in there, we will create handler stardust.gd. So it is a script, but we will extend from node because we will attach it to a node later on. And we will name it handler Stardust. All right. As a description, manages Stardust um, resource. Well, then manages Stardust and related signals. Let's go with this. So the first thing we need to do with this handler is to make it a singleton. So we can go in there and grab this. We go in the game script where we already did a singleton and just paste it there, right? We're just gonna change the type of the reference to handler stardust. And there we go. We also need this to be enter tree because I do believe that we're never gonna need um, enter tree for anything else than singleton check, all right? So even though this is our, our resource handler, uh, we are not, well, we could create a Stardust, uh, a way to get Stardust in there, but at the moment we're getting it straight into data. Hmm, let me think. Well, I think we can do this, right? Let's create a function, which we're gonna rename Stardust. And this will just return an int, which is the amount of Stardust we have, dot Stardust, all right? So returns the current amount of stardust available. Right. But what this handler will do mostly is to manage all the stardust creation and stardust consumption. So let's just create two simple functions for now, which will be stardust and no create stardust and a wait pass and consume stardust and pass right yeah we can populate these functions right away wait let's do this so creating stardust requires a specific amount of stardust to be created, right? So we need an argument quantity, which is obviously gonna be an int, okay? And from there, we will just go with game.ref.data.stardust plus equal quantity, right? Well, the consume function, it's a little bit more complicated. 
Because sometimes we may be in a situation where something is trying to consume stardust where we actually don't have enough stardust to consume. So we will have an argument quantity because we need to know how much stardust we want to consume. And also I will change the return type of the function to allow it to return an error if we don't have enough stardust, right? So let's create um, if an if statement, if quantity is inferior to game, no wait, it's superior. Yeah, if quantity is superior to game dot ref dot data dot stardust. So if we're trying to remove more stardust than we have, then we're going to return error dot layout. Returning errors is like returning value from an enum, all right? Error is a global enum that you can access from anywhere in the game. And you kind of have one value, which is no error, which is error.ok. And everything else is we have an error. So here, error.failed is the generic error to say, well, it failed and I have no more things to say about it, it just failed, right? And if we do have enough stardust, at the end, we will return error.ok, everything went fine, right? But we also need to consume the stardust, so game, dot ref dot data dot stardust minus equal quantity and there we go let's add a few documentation here add a specific specific amount of stardust well let's go with create that's the word we've used so far um let's document this one consume a subterm specific amount of stardust. There we go. Right. So now we have functions with which allow us to manipulate the stardust data. So we can just create signals which will reflect what's happening. So let's have a signal stardust created which will, let's say, tell us the quantity, right? And another signal, well, signal star just consumed with, again, the quantity. There we go. So this one is emitted when star just has been created. And this one is emitted when star just has been consumed. Has been? Was? Huh. Anyway, now we have created the signals, so we just have to emit those signals, right? So here we have created stardust, so let's have stardust created dot emit and quantity, because we need to specify the quantity. And here we have stardust dot consumed dot emit with again the quantity. There we go. So here is our resource stardust handler for now. All right. So let's create a new node, right? Node and name it stardust. All right, and just give it our new script like this, All right? So now the handler is in the game. So what we need to do is to have the resource label, the status label to react to this. 
all right so let's see where is the result status label script it is here so there it is here we are updating in process every frame the text which is not what we want but instead we will remove this and use a ready function function ready all right and connect the signals so we will go find handler.stardust.ref and now stardust created stardust created and we will connect our method update text and we will do exactly precisely same with stardust consume and we will connect the same method there is one big problem though the signal is emitted with an argument but the method here doesn't accept an argument which will create an error so we need to specify an argument in there quantity as an integer but we are not going to use it because we don't need to know the exact amount of stardust which has been created so i'm adding an underscore in front of it to avoid the specified warning here which is quantity is never used in the function and blah 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 add an underscore so we're just adding an underscore like this there we go connecting signals that's connecting signals i guess it makes sense all right so in there we have our main um, label here, which is using this script. But the two other labels from the prototypes, they don't use this script so far. So we can um, just simply add the script to the label, all right? And remove anything in there for the label, I guess there could be an easy way to do so. Or we could we can just remove those labels as they are, you know, redundant with the stardust uh, results on the left of the screen. So let's well let's run the game to see right if this one is working. So it's 15. Oh yes, we actually didn't initialize um the label when the game is started let's fix this right away update text all right what oh yes quantity all right so update update text wants a quantity here but we don't need to specify any so we're just gonna add a default value to minus one to further emphasize the idea that we really don't want to use it right it's going to be a negative value so right so now oh yeah we have created the end the handler but the prototypes aren't connected to the handler yet so let's go into the prototype generator script and yes create stardust here so we're just going to remove this line and go in handler stardust.ref dot create stardust and we want to create one right and as for the prototype we're going to do exactly the same handler stardust dot ref dot create stardust one right it's better so now right now the game knows <laughs> we're using the right method to generate stardust and there we go. I believe we can use the handler as well to grab the data value. Let's see, if we go edit the status label in there, we can use the handler as well using handler.status.ref.status. 
it should work. Yes, it's working fine. So at the moment, I suggest we we can try to add the script to different the same script to different labels because well that's a little bit of cleaning and that's always good to do so let's go in prototype generator so we will remove label in here so we have to remove update text like this we have to remove the update label text method all right begin generating we can remove the process obviously so ready visible user interface navigation creating stardust the generator all right seems all right prototype clicker now let's remove the label reference we don't need to initialize the label now. We don't need to process either. And we don't need the update label function. And it seems like we're all good. We just have to add the status label script in there. Save. And the clicker prototype, please. Add the status label script. Let's see if it works. Yes, actually it works fine. And the label is keeping the configurations that we've used, like the theme variation, this label being header large and this label being just a regular label, right? So there we go. This is it for the resource handler for this episode we will be using it again when we will be making upgrades which will be the next episode long awaited upgrades <laughs> so i see you in the next one thank you for watching see ya